Yo, 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 yo.
here tonight to carry out this service of song is the Gospel Light International Ministries to Covenant and Gospel Church. We are here on behalf of our Papa and our Mama to do this all important assignment. We want to start in earnest to without wasting much of your time. Please want to appeal to each and every of you to cooperate with us. We are starting now. This afternoon, precious Father in heaven, we want to say we love you. We want to say we thank you. We want to say we appreciate your love towards us. It's you and you only that has made it possible for everyone gathered here today to be here. Lord, our eyes are continually on you. We thank you for the children of Lake Mama. We thank you for relatives that have come from both far and near. The day we were born and the day we go back to our maker. In between when we were born and the day we go back to our Mecca, there is a journey. The way you go through that journey of life matters in a long way. Today we are here to rejoice over our mommy who has gone to be with the Lord at the age of 410 years. She went through a lot. Stage by stage, level by level, she conquered. We that are here today, we need to examine and watch our lives and see how we are going. Is the journey going in the way that the Lord has planned it for your life? One thing we do remember is that with grace, we are able to become whatever the Lord has destined for every soul. Every aspect of this service into your faith in hands, we ask that you take preeminence control, that at the end of the day, your name and your name alone will be exalted. Amen. Thank you, Almighty Father, Amen. for we open this occasion in the name of God the Father, Amen. God the Son, Amen. God the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Here, on behalf of our Father and our Mother and the Lord, to carry out the service of song. Iguahi Obasugi. Iguahi Obasugi. Say may her soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Without wasting much of your time, I want to hand you over to our Covenant Praise Choir to lead us in praise and worship. Put your hands together for them, please. Oh, my God. 
things out of an unclean no one. Since his days are determined, the numbers of his months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. Turn from him that he may rest till he still accomplish and, and hiring his days. For there is Hope for a tree. If it is cut, if it is cut down, that it it will sprout again, and that the tender branches, the tender branches thereof, will not cease. Though the root thereof wax old in the earth, and the stalk thereof died in the ground, yet through the of water it will burn and bring forth bones like a plant but man died and wastes away yea man gave up the ghost and where is he as the water fell from the from the sea the fraud the, the clay and and dried up. So man lie down and rise down and rise not till the heaven be not more. They shall they shall not awake nor be arise out of their sleep. Oh that thou wonders hide one in the grave and thou thou would it keep me secret until they rot, be passed, and thou wonders appoint, appoint me a set time and remember me. If a man die, shall he live again? All the days of 
my appointed time will I wait till my change come? Amen. We are going straight to the first hymn titled When We Walk with the Lord. Once again, I hand you over to the Governor Praise Choir. Put us together for them, please. Put your hands together for them. Praise the Lord. Shall we rise to our feet? My Lord is born for the glory your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. That where I am, there ye may be also. And either I go ye know, and the way you know, Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not either thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come unto me, unto thy father, but by me. Yeah. Brother, we are going straight to the second name, please. My hope is built on nothing else than Jesus Christ.
Corinthians chapter number 15, from verse number 50 to 58. And it's to be taken by Mrs. Grace Israel. Put us together for her, please. 1 Corinthians 15, from verse 50 to 58. And it says, and, and now this I say, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. Neither God, neither do corruption inherit incorruption. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkle of an eye, at the last trump, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be rise in incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this incorruptible must put on incorruption, and this and this mortal must be put on immortality. So when this incorruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, who giveth victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, be ye brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of the Lord. For, for as much as ye shall know, your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Praise the Lord! Taught him, titled, Holy Remember.
from verse 13 to 18. And it's to be taken by Osaro John Odiasi. Put that together for me. But I will not have you be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep. Yea, so do me. Even, of, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so then, and rose again, even, even so then, also which slept in Jesus, will God bring with him. For this we say unto you, by the word of the Lord, that we should, that we, which are alive, and remain unto the coming of the Lord, shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from the heavens with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then which are alive, remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we be for with the so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore comfort one another with this word. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Honor and privilege to welcome to the microphone Mr. Henry Obasuji to take the biography of our mama. Put that together for him. My name is Mother Mama Igwai Obasugi, Ni Ejonwe Sebe. Mrs. Igwai Grace Obasugi was born in the city in the year 1912. To the families of Chief Ejonwe, the Okakoma of Ipokon, and Mrs. Ushosa Se, the senior daughter of Chief Isai, a fear all of world and local government area. Her early life was spent with her parents helping to collect herbs and dispensation of prepared medicine for pregnant women and children. Her mother, grandmother, and great grandmother were all traditional birth attendants, which is known as BTA now, lead referring and midwife. Her mother went through the tutelage of under her mother before she got married to Chief Aibo Ojo Abasuji in the year 1936. And she had all her children for Chief Obasuji. She was a member. Now let's take it. Go on, Mark Bobo. Go on, I pass on you. Yes, yes, yes. The place is warm now, I'm happy. Yes. She was a member of the Sanjodora Progressive Union, the Gold Sellers Association. She had a trading store at Oba Market and the Kyosa, respectively. She later retired into a full life head giver, traditional birth attendant, BTA, now known as midwife. She also had a knowledge of treatment of other inmates both adults and children. Mama Iguai was very generous to all who came my way. She was the best cook the world had ever produced. Her step children will attest to this fact. Her generosity can tell the generosity the will be best remembered by her children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, and great 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 grandchildren. Loving mother, a philanthropist by excellence, and a great head giver. She was baptized at the New Covenant Gospel Church. A good one. Yes, yes, yes. She, she being born a 
again can be attested to by the way it's great for us, the children and all visitors that came away. We hope to meet at the resolution morning. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! I say praise the name of the Lord. He said, my man got born again. What a wonderful, wonderful world. We are going straight to take the tribute. It is now the turn of to take the tribute of our late man. Tribute to my superhero, my mother. My wonderful mother, there is none like you. Your generosity is compared to none. And your love, affection, words cannot express. You were my hero and mentor. It hurts to know that you are no more. But my joy and strength come from the fact that I know you are in a better place. A place where there is no sorrow and pain. A place where there is no more deaths. A place of peace, joy, happiness, and divine satisfaction. You brought us all up in the way of God. You taught us to appreciate God in whatever condition we find ourselves. Because sorrow lasts only for a moment, but joy comes in the morning. I remember how we prayed together. The money of the day you passed on to be with the Lord and all the advice that you gave me. It's so hard to say goodbye because words are not enough to describe who you truly are. You are a true hero, a woman of peace, and I know you are resting in the bosom of the Lord. You will always remain in our hearts forever. May your wonderful soul rest till we meet to part no more. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Again, I want to for her. To my mother, Ie was so caring, good, and a lover of peace. Ie taught us values and made sure we did the right thing in everything. She was not only a good, she was not only good to her children, but also to the people around her. He were the true picture of motherhood. You raised all your children in the way of the Lord. You taught us character, love, hard work, and respect for all. We have been able to achieve much today because of your selfless service. Thank you so much, Ian Nokoa. Mother, what a great jewel you are. You live for all of us, especially for me. She will always say, Even in your pain and difficult times, you always make sure we are very comfortable. Thank you for all you did for me. I will forever miss you, my great model. You stood out among so many women. You were always dear to your children. You taught me to love, respect, and service. I am all I am today because you chose to be an exceptional model. I can't forget what you always say. When I tell you this food is not good, Iye. Iye was a great manager. She hated waste. She will shout, Ia Mero Ye, Emeria, Ewoya. Continue to rest, my lovely grandmother. <laughs> Shall we receive the covenant press choir with the class of replays?
happy to you to get ready, get your writing materials ready for the man that God has chosen to address us tonight. Is prepared by God Himself. It is my honor and privilege to welcome to the microphone the Assistant General Superintendent Administration, Reverend A.D. Omariji. Put us together for him. Can we bow our hearts as we see? Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the moment of this. Only the living can gather to do a service of promise for the world that will be So for the gift of life, we say thank you. We are grateful to you for all that you have enabled us to do so far. Now, Lord, we want to hear briefly from you. We ask, Lord, that you speak through these lips of clay and let your people hear your word and let your word bless your people. The glory will return to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, let me join my voice to bring greetings to my Father in the Lord, the spiritual leader of the Gospel Life International Ministries, New Covenant Gospel Church, Reverend Dr. Efa Mabudi, who is physically here. Yeah. I also bring greetings from the trustees and the leadership and members of the New Covenant Gospel Church, saying to members of the family, we are here to identify with you. Before I bring the message, I want to congratulate members of the family for three things. Number one, that at a time when lifespan has become so short, God has given a woman 110 years to live. I congratulate you. Number two, I want to congratulate you that this woman knew the right thing to do while on earth. She gave her life to Christ. And so whether here or there, she is a winner. Amen. I congratulate you. So for the third thing I want to congratulate you for, she lived a fruitful life. There are many things visible that tells us that she lived a very fulfilled life. When you look at the children, look at the grandchildren, look at the great great grandchildren, just for you to mention them. And all the values that this woman lived for, she practiced her Christianity from the testimonies and from all that we have heard, then you find that uh, it was an illustrious life she has lived for which she shall be remembered. So let's put our hands together for the members of the family because Mama has recruited something for you. Hallelujah. Turn with me quickly to Ecclesiastes chapter number 3. I will read just one or two verses and then I share very briefly with us. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. Verse 2 says, a time to be born and a time to die. I will stop there. Turn to verse number 14 of the same chapter. I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it, that man to fear before him. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here this afternoon because the God of times and seasons has set today, the 4th of November 2022, for us to do what we are doing here today. It couldn't have been otherwise. 
I also want to let us know, as far as life is concerned, there is nothing like accident or coincidence. Everything has been predestinated because God for you everything. So from the foundation of the earth, God has crafted everything that will happen by time. And today, we are glad that on a certain day in 1912, this great woman was born. And I'm grateful to God that it was a fruitful life she lived. In those days when there were no health centers, in those days when there were not too many hospitals, God gave gifts to a woman or a family or a family tree that were involved in rendering medical services to the community, especially when it has to do with deliveries. So they handle both antenata and prenata without going to medical school. Can we not put our hands together for the King of Kings and for the Lord of Lords? In all seasons, God will not allow any dispensation to be in lack of what is essential for that particular dispensation. So in her dispensation, she was a great gift. Today, we are here celebrating her exit because there is a time to be born and there is a time to die. The God who controls times and seasons has set it aside that we owe one appointment. That is, no one comes here on earth to live forever. As old as Methuselah, who was almost a thousand years old, 967, he still died. And Hebrews 9.27 tells us that man, woman, every one of us born into this world is appointed once to die. Amen. After that, the judgment. But today we are glad that judgment for mama and for all the saints who lived their life fully and also ended strong who did not backslide before passing away who did not withdraw out of perdition before passing away? Who ran their race fully to the end in the Lord? Their own judgment time is an award time. For God has a reward for every one of his own children who have served faithfully even unto the end. The Bible says, they that wait unto the end, the same shall be saved. There is a judgment also for those who choose to live the life that they wanted to live. A man had an option to say, no, I will not serve God. And she chose willingly. She chose without being coerced, without being forced. She heard the message. She heard about the love of God. She heard how Christ died for her and came to take her sins and she surrendered. And that is why we are here celebrating her. That is why there is a reward for her. But there are many, or some I would say, who heard the same invitation, who heard of the love of God, who heard how God sent his only begotten son to die for the sins of the world and bring salvation to us. And they put their head inside the water. They say, you're on your own. Whatever thing you choose to do, there is a reward for you. So the judgment that will come upon those who refuse to heed the invitation of Jesus Christ is that it's painful. The judgment is that they will be perpetually, permanently separated from God and they will go where God never actually prepared for humanity. That is hell fire. I pray that no one hearing the sound of my voice this afternoon will choose that direction. 
praise the name of the Lord. I say praise the name of the Lord. Number one. In Luke chapter 15, verse number 7, Jesus Christ said, There is much joy in heaven over one sinner that repents. A sinner that chooses to honor, a sinner that chooses to avail him or herself of what God has offered. The Bible says in John 3, 15, 16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have what? Everlasting life. Anyone that embraces that love will escape eternal damnation, but will have eternal life. Whenever someone does that here on earth, there is great rejoicing in heaven. And the implication of our accepting Christ as our Lord and Savior is that whatever sins we've committed, whatever offenses we have committed, whatever our shortcomings at any point in time, Jesus Christ takes care of all that and says from the day you take a decision, your sins are forgiven. There is therefore now no more condemnation for all them that are in Christ Jesus. For he has by his blood taken care of all our transgressions, all our iniquities. By his blood, he blows them all out so that everything that were written contrary to us according to Colossians chapter 2 verse 13 and 14, they are all blotted out and there is nowhere anymore an accusation against us is recorded. So there will be nothing to condemn us. So heaven rejoice when someone takes an advantage of that. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You ask some people, why are you delaying and serving Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? They will tell you, don't you know that there are too many problems on there? Are you not seeing all the water? Don't you see that things are useless and useless? Don't you see all the things that are pursuing and that they are doing that? How can I rely on the God that I don't see? That means go and look for the one I can see. What, 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 what a lie. What a deception. But today, if you will hear the sound of my voice, I'm saying to you that Jesus Christ is this saying to you, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy lady, and I will give you rest. There is no rest any other place. You only find rest. In him, who is the source of rest? He is the Prince of Peace. He is the God of Peace. He is the only one that can give peace by all means and always. If you are hearing the sound of my voice, may I appeal to you this afternoon. Whereas we have come to say Mama, we have come to say bye bye and join the coronation service, you are gone to a higher place. You are gone to meet with your Lord. You are going to meet with your Savior. They want you, they want you to surrender your life to. But those of us who have been opportune to come into this place, what is your excuse? Jesus is still saying unto you, come. Come. There is no challenge you cannot win. Come. There is no darkness that is light. No light. Come. There is no oppression that cannot deliver you from. There is no captivity. It cannot set you out from. I am inviting you this afternoon. Come. I say come. And I say come. And embrace what he has made available to you. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. When you respond appropriately, right on time, there will be joy in heaven over the decision that you have made. So that at the end of time, there's going to be another rejoicing. In Psalm chapter 116, the Bible says, Precious in the sight of the Lord, is the death of your sins. When the sins go home, it's like the day you rejoice when she was born. So many in the church, they profess to go to church. 
but they are no longer in grace. They have put their lives in two places. And the thing that they are saying in the church, I am speaking to you today, put your two legs on the same track. Put your two hands in his hands. Put your heart in his hands. Allow him to guide you. He is all sufficient. He's able to provide for you. He's able to heal you. He's able to fight all your battles. He is more than enough. Surrender to him. So that there will be two occasions to rejoice over your life. The day you give your life to Christ, there will be drums. There will be trumpets. There will be dancing over there. Because you have separated yourself and you have given value and credence to the sacrifice of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Then, when you bow out of this place, because you completed your assignment, which God determines, then another, another, another celebration begins over there. Ladies and gentlemen, I have shared this word. I believe someone has heard it. What is your position here today? Your decision is so important. Everyone you have seen giving, who have given their life to Christ, they did it in a moment. There is no room for procrastination. There is no room left of, well, let me go and think about it. Because times are not in your hands now. You have no control over any moment beyond now. Why we bow our heads? I want you to, to reflect on what we have heard. God is so loving. He always creates an opportunity. He loves us so much. God has no pleasure in the death of any sinner. All he wants is for everyone he has created, his only image and likeness, to repent. And he will forgive. Why are you delaying it? You may be happy and happy at any church, but inside of you, you know. You have not had the right encounter. You cannot say with certainty, I'm a child of God. This is the moment for you to decide. If you have been procrastinating and been thinking and thinking, please I appeal to you. If thinking is enough, settle it now. And let him come in and be the Lord of your life. Amen. If you are one who is taking that decision, why all hands are bowed, can I see your right hand lifted above your head? This is a moment of decision. This is a moment of decision. I have exhausted my time. Oh, beautiful. To God be the glory. Can we put our hands together for this? Can we put our hands together for this? Can we put our hands together for this? Oh, wonderful. We are not just the only ones clapping for you. I tell you, the hosts of heaven, they are also clapping. But you cannot see right now. They are clapping. That is what the word of God says. The Bible says, whatsoever the Lord does, remain forever. <coughs> Nothing can be put to it. Nothing can be removed. He does it that men may fear before him. When he says you are saved, you are saved. When he says you are forgiven, you are forgiven. When he says anything, every promise he has made, they stand sure forever. So for those of you who have been bold enough to put your hands together up for him, say this after me. I thank you for loving me. I thank you for sending your son, Jesus Christ to come and take my place and die for my sins. Today, I deliberately make up my mind to repent from my sins and ask Jesus to become the Lord and Savior of my life. Oh Lord, forgive my sins. Give me grace to stand with this decision. I will thank God for the work we have done. Let's bow our heads. And so Heavenly Father, I want to thank you, God, for the exhortation that we have shared. That we are grateful to you that it pleased you to call our mama home. But for these ones that are here and everyone that comes from far and near, let the words that we have spoken not bring condemnation. Let it be a thing, O God, that we embrace and bring glory to your name. So that the day will be remembered as a day that decisions were taken. There was a day. The resolution was taken that no more going back but forward in the name of Jesus. Thank you, faithful Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed.
please, we will. Uh, we are so privileged to have a uh, pattern blessing upon every one of you. Please, our uh, children, grandchildren, great grandchildren, as many as are around, please, can you come forward? Can we put our hands together as we turn it over to Papa, please? God bless you. Everybody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Children of God, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I greet every one of you in the name of Jesus. Greet very specially the family of our departed mother. We have come to celebrate the goodness of God with you. May God continue to watch over you. Amen. amen. Say amen now. Amen. Father, we thank you for the gift you gave to humanity in the person of your own daughter. Grace, for 110 years, she was on a mission here on earth. You gave her grace, you gave her favor, you gave her life, you blessed her mission with good children, good family. Above all, you gave her the opportunity to have a personal relationship with you. We thank you because we know that she is resting in your bosom according to your word. Now that she has gone, we leave all her concerns to you, the children, the grandchildren, Great grandchildren, in law, immediate and extended family, and all that are touched by Mama's exit. I ask you, Father, that you watch over everyone. Amen. Grant all the grace to also run our race well. Amen. Every one of you. You will live even longer than Mama has done. Yeah. Every one of you, you will serve God yeah. faithfully. Yeah. You will see you later yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. The enemy will not devour you. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. No one will not follow you. Amen. Amen. You will fulfill your own destiny. Amen. At the fullness of time, your children will also stand for you. Amen. Amen. Shall be well with you. Amen. And Father, this entire program that began this morning will commit to you every stage of this. You will guide your children. Amen. There shall be no evil report. Amen. All those who travel to be part of this program, they will return home safely. Amen. It shall be good news all the way. Amen. I speak the blessing of God upon you. Amen. Upon your family. Amen. In the name of the Father. Amen. Of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Every believer say Amen. Amen. God bless you. Oh, oh, oh. 
Is that it? Put the yoga lap on him, please. I know you can do better than that.
Go, 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 Dust to death. 
looking for the general resurrection in the last day and the life of the world to come through our Lord Jesus Christ. A few second coming in glorious majesty to judge the world. The earth and the sea shall give up their dead, and the corruptible bodies of those who sleep in him shall be changed and made like unto his own glorious body, according to the mighty working whereby he is able to subdue all things to himself. At this point, family members, the children, they begin to drop.
is in the name of Jesus. That in unity they will think better than Mama has seen them in the name of Jesus. That God will be well with them from now on in the name of Jesus. That your blessings will remain upon them from now on and you will bless them as ever well. That they are the last one to be blessed in Jesus' mighty name. We are praying. Amen.